Making fuel from algae sounds like science fiction, but that's the goal at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. Engineers have created a new way to turn the green goo into energy as part of an effort to reduce use of traditional fuels like oil, which contribute to climate change. Well, solid biomass is not something that you can put into a car or into an engine. Uh, we need to change it chemically and physically. Our recent publication of our results it describes our work in a continuous flow reactor system. It's an actual processing design that could be scaled up to large scale for actual production of real fuels. The process subjects algae to very high pressure and temperature, the same conditions within the earth that transformed algae to oil millions of years ago. It's a seamless process. Engineers put algae into the reactor for less than an hour and out comes crude oil, water, and some usable byproducts. This is the algae feedstock that we use in our process. It is about 80% water at this point in time. Once we put the algae through our processing system, it's converted into this type of light uh, bio crude oil. Final step of the process is then to convert the bio crude into a finished hydrocarbon product. That's what is in this jar. It's a mixture of gasoline and diesel range hydrocarbon materials. We can make fuel from algae today, but it's not easy or cheap. This research simplifies the process dramatically, a key step toward lowering the cost of algae fuel.